first tonight, former President Donald Trump is now a convicted felon. Off the top tonight, new reaction to the historic verdict. Tonight, a jury found Trump guilty on all 34 counts in his hush money trial. It's the first time a former president has been tried or convicted in a criminal case. Ken's Five reporter Hannah Tita is live in studio. And Hannah, you spoke with a political science expert about how this could impact the November election. Yeah, that's right. ECs Henry, today's conviction can't keep Trump from running for re-election, according to constitutional experts. But will it help or hinder Trump's campaign? And what does this mean for the state of politics in our nation? I spoke with a professor at Our Lady of the Lake to find out as reaction continues to come in. For the first time, a former president has been convicted of a crime. A Manhattan jury found Donald Trump guilty of falsifying business records to cover up a $130,000 payment to porn star Stormy Daniels before the 2016 election. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. Republicans and Democrats both capitalizing on the conviction, with one side condemning a criminal and another likening him to a martyr. Local Republican Congressman Chip Roy is calling the trial a charade and an affront to the rule of law. Even though today's verdict was not brought on by the Biden administration, many politicians, including Governor Greg Abbott, are using it as an opportunity to rally voters against him. Meanwhile, local Democratic Congressman Joaquin Castro says no one is above the law. U.S. Representative and Democrat Greg Cassatter accuses Trump of lying, cheating, and stealing his entire life. And President Joe Biden put this out, saying the only way to keep Donald Trump out of the Oval Office is at the ballot box. I, I feel like a lot of people, and I think the polls show um, that a lot of people already have their minds made up how, how they're going to vote. So it probably just reinforces their um, view. Dr. Lita Barnett is a political science professor at Our Lady of the Lake University. She worries about the precedents this conviction could set. Our election systems, our Congress, our presidency, our court, if people come to see them as corrupt, then people lose confidence and we start to lose our democracy. And Dr. Barnett believes the conviction may not sway Trump supporters unless he receives a jail sentence this July. He faces up to four years in prison but could be given probation. Isis?